Muse for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, Musers? John with Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And today's video tutorial is going to be kind of a continuation of yesterday's video tutorial. So yesterday we recreated this home page, um, but one thing I didn't go over, which I think is really important, is the size of the images uh, that we placed inside the website. So if we look at the website, we have a few different images. Uh, we have the background image, we have the image within the image text widget, and the image in the browser border widget. So let's go ahead and take a look at the image sizes uh, within the browser. So I'm going to right click and I'm gonna select inspect. I'm using Google Chrome. And if I go to sources, the sources tab here, we have all the files that are used for this website. So here we have images, or yeah, images, and we have the assets as well. So if we click on this image here, uh, this is the background image that was placed into Adobe Muse. So Adobe Muse itself resizes images. So we can see here that this image is 141 kilobytes and we downloaded images from graphicburger.com. So we downloaded these images and if we look at the original sizes, so I'll go to my finder and I'll put them in list view here. The original sizes of these images are really large. So we have 7.1 megabytes, 4.9 megabytes, 5.8, 2.57, 5.1, 1.7, 8.2, and 10.5. So those file sizes are really large, and the, if those are added to the website, the site will take quite some time to load. So we do want to reduce the size, the sizes of the images before adding to the website. Uh, but Adobe Muse does do a good job. So that background image is 10.5 mega, megabytes, and Adobe Muse actually resized it, so it's 141 kilobytes. So that's about a thousand percent reduction in file size. So here it doesn't show us the width and height of the image. If it doesn't show here, if it says if it says zero by zero, you can just uh, refresh the page, and it'll show the width and height of the image. So this image is 1920 by 1280, and the original image. If I right click on the image, right click, get info. So I'm on a Mac on Windows. I think it's right click and preview. Um, so here it tells us the information about the image. So this image is 5,000 pixels in width by 3,333 pixels in height. And the size of the image is 10.5 megabytes. So we can see Adobe Muse resized it to 1920, 1,920 pixels in width by 1,280 pixels in height. So Adobe Muse does a really good job there, but when you place an image within a widget, Adobe Muse does not resize it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the images that are inside the widget. So here we have the image text widgets. We have the image filling the text and we have the image in the browser border. Uh, both these images are the same, so it's only gonna be one image. So let's go to the sources again here and I'll click on assets. And here we have the image used for the widget. So it's right here and let's look at the size. So it's 4.7 megabytes. So that's really large for an image. And we can actually record the network activity. So if we click on the network tab here in Google Chrome and we hit Command R to record, it's gonna record all the information of all the files and assets that are used for the website. So here we can see, here are the social media icons. They're barely a kilobyte, which is great. Then we have the background image, it's 142 kilobytes. And then we have the image that's used with, within the widgets. And we can see here, it takes a really long time to load. So we're gonna manually resize that image and then use a compressor to reduce the file size even more. So uh, let's go back here. Yeah, let's go into the sources and we'll click on that asset. Yeah, so we have 5,000 by 3,333 pixels in height. So let's go ahead and resize this image and also compress it so we can get the file size a lot lower. So to manually resize the image, I'll go to my finder and let's see, the image is right here. This is the image that was placed inside the widgets. So I'm going to right click, open with, and I'll select preview. And you can use any image resizing tool or cropping tool. And here I'm gonna to go to tools. I'm gonna to go to adjust size. 
and I'm gonna change the size to 2048. So Adobe Muse resized the background image to 1920 pixels in width. Um, I like to use 2048, they're pretty close. Um, but yeah, 1920 or 2048 pixels in width is fine. So when you uh, adjust the width, the height adjust as well, if the uh, constraint option is locked here. Okay, so that's all I have to do here. And we can see that the size changed by 41%. So now it's 241 kilobytes where it was 4.9 megabytes. So this isn't the best representation. It does say 241 kilobytes, but it's not actually gonna be 241 kilobytes, but that's okay. So we're just gonna click okay for now and then hit command S to save or go to file and then save to save those new properties for the image. So I'll close this here. And now if I right click on the image and select get info, we're gonna see the image size. So the dimensions are 2048 by 1365 because we, we resized it. Uh, but the size here, it says one megabyte. So this gives me the actual uh, file size. Um, it did say 241 kilobytes, but it's actually one megabyte. So you just wanna double check, make sure uh, within your finder, the actual size of the image. So we see here the image is one megabyte. Um, the largest I like to make my images is about 200 kilobytes. Uh, you could get away with like a 500 kilobyte image because uh, most users are using really fast internet these days. But for me, I like to keep it at around 200 kilobytes. Uh, but you can play around with that. Some images have more information in them and are a little bit larger in file size. But we can reduce the, the file size of this image even more by using an online image compressor, um, different tools. Uh, I think Photoshop compresses images. Um, so we can reduce that file size even more. So I'm gonna go to an image compressor online. So I'll go to compress JPEG because the image is a JPEG. If it's a PNG, you can go to uh, compresspng.com. So I'll go to compressjpeg.com and here I'll click, hold and drag uh, that image that we just resized. So I'll click, hold and drag, place right in there and it's gonna resize the image or re compress the image and reduce the file size. So here we can see it reduced the image by 84%. So that's really good. So let's go ahead and download it and see the file size of the image now. Okay, so I've downloaded the image and I've placed it in the finder. And when you download from compressed JPEG or compressedpng.com, um, it adds the same file name, but then it adds a dash min next to it to let you know that the file has been minified. Um, so that's a good reference there. I know that I wanna use this dash min version on my website. And also let's take a look at the file size. So I'll right click, select get info, and we can see the file size is now 164 kilobytes. So that's a really good size for an image. I can go ahead and add it into Adobe Muse. So I'll go ahead back into Adobe Muse. I'll click on the image text widget, open the widget options here where it says select an image. I'll click here. And now we have that minified version of the image. So we can see the dash min. So I'll double click. And I'll do the same for the browser border because we added an image for the browser border and I'll select the dash min version of the image. All right, perfect. So now let's go ahead and preview in the browser. All right, so I'll right click, select inspect and I'll go to the sources tab. I'll go to the images and we can see the background image 141 kilobytes. So this is the image that Adobe Muse resized and reduced the file size. If we go to assets, we can see the images that are inside the widget. So I'll go to the image and we can see it's now 161 kilobytes. So let me just click refresh so I can see the image size. So it's 2048 pixels in width by 1365 pixels in height. Perfect, so we've, we've resized the image. Now the website won't take as long to load. I can go to the network tab, hold down command R and we can see the different sizes here as well, you know, one kilobyte, kilobyte, 142 kilobytes, 161 kilobytes, and the site doesn't take as long to load. It can tell you the load time here as well at the bottom. So the load time is 140 milliseconds. I'm not sure what it was before, but it definitely was larger than 140 milliseconds. So that's it for resizing the images manually and compressing them with an online compressor and also checking the file sizes with the Chrome inspection tool and the developer tools in Chrome. So one last thing I'll go over, let's say you have an image that's being used multiple times throughout the website, rather than having to change the image every time in Adobe Muse, 
you can just go to the assets panel in Adobe Muse or you can go to window and click on a assets here. So I'll click on the assets panel and if I wanted to change the image, so here we have the min version. Let's say I wanted to replace this image without having to go into the widget and replace it. I could just right click, select relink, and I could select the minified version. So I'll double click. And now we've relinked that image. I can do the same for this one. Right click, relink, and just select the minified version. So within the, within the assets panel, you can relink images. Um, one thing you want to be careful of is, uh, let's say you change the properties of an image, but that image still has the same name as the original image. Um, sometimes it doesn't register when you upload the site to the server. The server might say, hey, this is the same image. It doesn't have a different name. So those new properties don't get applied and it's still using the original image. So it's a good idea. Like I like that compressed JPEG and compressed PNG add that dash min because it changes the file name. So when uploading to the server, the server knows, hey, this is a new file. I'm gonna use this file and the new properties from that file. All right, so that's it for this video tutorial. I thought it was really important um, to kind of go over this. I kind of overlooked that in the first tutorial. The images from graphicburger.com are really large, so if you did want to use them, I'd recommend resizing them. Um, if you're placing in widgets, you know, resizing them and compressing them so that your website doesn't take a long time to load. But Adobe Muse does do a great job itself in resizing and reducing the file size file sizes of images. So that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. Muse for you, awesome websites without code.